Hello everyone, Clint here. I hope everybody is doing great today. Today we are coming back with another episode for the OnePlus Watch 2. This one is gonna be a real world battery test. So uh, OnePlus is claiming 100 hours of battery life on this guy. This test will show obviously my normal use did not reach 100 hours. But with that being said though, um, it did pretty good. So I'm gonna go through a day with using my watch and show you guys uh, how it performed. And it performs pretty darn good. So let's go ahead and fire this up with the initial charge. Okay, so it is Monday the 11th at 2 p.m. where I finally got this baby charged up 100% after my first initial thought video. Now, just real quick, the settings that I have on here are how I normally use my smartwatches every single day. I try not to do anything special for just a test, uh, and that is with the always on display on. Um, for as far as the fitness stuff goes, I have the uh, fitness uh, automatic tracking uh, turned off. And I also have SPO2 in the evening turned off. That's just not something I'll, I need at this point in my life. So I always turn that off on all my watches. And otherwise, it's pretty normal. So we're going to go through an entire day and get all my notifications. I'm going to use my apps like normal. I'm going to use my Google Assistant like normal. Basically, I'm going to use my watch like I do every day. So let's go ahead and do our first check-in of the day after the first charge, and that's gonna be uh, nine o'clock at night, uh, so seven hours later, and we're down to 88%. So uh, I'm getting ready to go to bed on this, guys, and one thing I did find out on the OnePlus Ultra is when you go into, uh, there's a couple settings in there, you have bedtime mode, which puts it in bedtime, and then you also have uh, what's called um uh i can't remember what it's called but it's like a low power mode and it switches into that um uh, based based on the schedule and i think i had my schedule set from 9 to 5 9 p.m to 5 a.m uh that puts it in a little bit lower power mode uh shuts the screens off too with all that normal stuff which is okay with me because i'm sleeping and in that mode it still tracks your sleep so i'm totally cool with that so Let's go ahead and keep it moving from here. The next morning I woke up with 76% uh, on the battery life uh, from sleep, which I thought was interesting and that'll be interesting here a little bit later. So that was a 12% drop uh, in battery, which is a little bit more than I was expecting. Then I started my day with a workout like normal. That was just a normal lifting workout, weight training workout, uh, nothing too crazy on that particular one. No, there was actually a run in there too on a treadmill. So we got a weight lifting workout and a treadmill workout um, during that thing. So let's go ahead and keep it moving on to our next check-in. And uh, frankly, I got busy at work and I didn't do a lot of check-ins. So our next check is 26 hours later. So 26 hours later, we're down to this baby at 54%. So we're over a day. Uh, so about 4 p.m. the next day on the 12th, we are over a day and we're at 54%, which, uh, you know, is pretty good, not bad. Looks like we're gonna be able to easily make it two days. Uh, let's go ahead and do our next check-in. So we're around 9 p.m. again, so we're looking at about five, uh, 31 hours of uh, time into this and we're down another 9% to 45% and I'm getting ready to go to bed guys so it's going back into that bedtime mode the the low power mode thing all that good stuff and I'm going to go to sleep and I wake up the next day and it now has strangely 40% battery life which is very interesting because that only dropped the 5% there instead of the 12 on the first night not quite sure why that is have no idea but let's keep it moving and we will check in again here and this baby is at the 20% mark so I did get a notification uh, that the watch was down to 20% this is middle of my work day or actually towards the end of my work day uh, but we are at 48 and a half hours so we're at two and a half 
two days. So we're at two days on this one here, 48 and a half hours, uh, which is doing pretty good at 20%. So 20% is no problem. Uh, I'm going about my day as normal. Let's go ahead and check in again. And the reason why I checked in was at 10%. So at 10%, uh, that was 54 hours. And this watch is really interesting because once it hits 10%, it goes into low power mode. It gives you this big long list of stuff that's gonna happen when it's in low power mode. And if you remember, this has a dual operating system. So that low power mode is gonna switch straight to that RTOS or whatever the heck it's called operating system, which is still useful. Uh, it still tracks your steps. It'll track your sleep. It does all that like fitness stuff and good stuff like that. It just won't bring up your apps. It won't fire up that big giant W5 chip. Uh, and normally when a watch tells you that, it'll tell you, do you want to go into uh, low power mode and you hit yes or no? Normally on these tests, I hit no. Uh, there is no yes or no. It just goes straight into low power mode and I had to go back into the settings, get it back out of power mode because we're doing a battery test here. Now, normally I would just have left that in uh, low power mode because uh, you get your time, all that kind of good stuff that you need to until you can get that baby on a charger. So I got it back out of low power mode and went around the rest of my day. And what happened is uh, just an hour later, uh, that baby dropped whole four percent uh and it was time for me to go to bed guys so i would did not want to uh do the last six percent the last percentage of any watch of every battery test i've ever done just drops like uh like just drops straight down so at six percent uh that gave us 55 hours uh which is uh, pretty darn good a little over half of what oneplus says and with the always on display off so i was good with that um if you go back to uh, back into my channel i've done several battery tests uh, the only thing close to that was I did a battery test on the Tick Watch Pro 3, uh, and that baby lasted, I believe, 54 and a half hours, uh, which was really good. But that's with that fancy dual screen um, action there, not necessarily a full blown, always on display. And then the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, which also has a big giant battery in it, it gave me a good 48 hours with the always on display screen. So. I'm not sure exactly what to think of that. I do think this architecture is the future of Wear OS watches and 55 hours. It don't give you, you know, a full uh, weekend without your charger, which is unfortunately, but it does make it a lot easier to live with. So what do you guys think? Do you think 55 hours with the always on display screen on? Do you think that is good to go? Do you think that it, uh, will... Uh, be good enough for you. And also, uh, let me know if you want me to do a test with the screen off. I hate those tests because I hate uh, <laughs> not having my screen on, but if uh, you guys think I should probably give that a shot, I can go ahead and, and give it a try because I'll be wearing this watch for quite some time. So lots more testing to go here now that this watch was dead. Uh, we're gonna do a battery test on that one, also a uh, charging test. So stay tuned for that. Lots of, lots of OnePlus watch two stuff. So see you on the next one.